in uh, this tutorial, we're going to show how to use some of the image processing tasks that are available uh, by DAX, from DAX. Uh, we start with an event list. Uh, to make things a little bit quicker, we're going to uh, use a smaller image size, so we're going to make it 512 by 512. Um, and uh, go into the normal uh, analysis menu, chow, and pull off the, uh, pull that off so we can see it image processing and we'll tear that off so we have quick access to it. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is an adaptive smooth which is similar to C-smooth but um, it's actually a little faster. Um, we'll use a cone as our kernel. Uh, parameters here are already set. Um, and like C-smooth the idea is that the background gets heavily smoothed and source pixels remain relatively unsmoothed. And you can tab back and forth to uh, do pre and post smoothing kind of thing. Uh, let's say if we want to now apply a threshold so we can identify you know, the sources. We can actually use DAX on the DAX image that we just created. So we can actually run the statistics task um, to get the uh, min and max pixel values and standard deviation of the pixel values to come up with some idea of a threshold. So we're going to say a threshold of 2 just to be kind of conservative. Uh, so we can now threshold this same image, uh, the cut of 2 value of 0. So now any values less than 2 are set identically to 0. And can tile them just to kind of get a sense of things. Um, clean this up a little bit. Um, we can do a different kind of threshold where uh, each contiguous set of pixels gets identified together. So uh, that's what the blob task does, is, is groups of pixels above threshold um, get labeled together. So in this image, the pixel value is now what group number it belongs to. Um, it's basically a you know, poor man's source detection. Well, so we can now clean up some of these frames. We're back to the original image now. And let's say this source over here is kind of annoying us and we want to get rid of it. It's uh, you know, drawing our attention away from, from the, the pulsar here. Uh, so we can draw a source region around there, um, designate a background region, and we can use the source fill tool um, to uh, basically replace the pixel values um, with uh, background. It uh, uses the DM filth tool, fill in the hole tool. 